Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Cambridge United, and they take on Peterborough United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the battle commences. Kwame Poku. On attacking possibilities. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Oh, breezing past him. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Lancaster Smith well, they couldn't keep possession Joe Ward the cross is on an early goal it is the ideal opening Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Paul Digby strong but fair tackle plenty of options well not giving the opposition a look in that strong play McGrandles Sam Smith makes his way in field but nothing comes of it Ollie Norburn 
Ward. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Smith. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Chance to play it in. Will he find the net? Really important tackle. Jack Lancaster. Jones. James Brophy. Paul Digby. Connor McGrandles. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Outdoing his opponent. This attack looks highly promising. Top class defending. Jack Lancaster. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Clark Harris. Taylor. And the emphasis is on creativity. Real chance. And it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. In terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Bennett. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. But it just seems in this game he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, what a midfield performance this has been. He's been clever on the ball, he's worked hard out of possession, and he's dictated the flow of the game. Absolutely brilliant. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Just cutting off the supply. Johnson Clark Harris. Sam Smith. Well, he's given it away. Keeper more than equal to the task. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
Who can he pick out? And clearing it away. Brophy. Really vital interception here. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Clark Harris. Now, what can they do from here? Good strength to keep the ball. And a very good challenge. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Crossing possibilities. Jack Taylor, timely intervention. Fifteen minutes left for play. Jones on the ball. Paul Digby. Interception to snuff out the danger. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. All the way through to the keeper then. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner, but now the free kick has to be awarded. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Not a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Conor McGrandles could play it in and the corner has been given <laughs> now sending it in and first-class defending, cleared off the line. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. It'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? It's a perfect challenge. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Defenders need to cover. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Burrows. Thompson with it. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.